Garden. Say hello to your Power Rangers! And hello to everybody that's watching us live on Twitch as well. Now later, we're going to get to your questions, both in the room and on social, but for right now, I'm going to direct this one to Director Dean. Let's talk about tackling this property. Everybody loves it. Can you talk about your approach in bringing this to new audiences in a way that we've never seen? Sure, I mean, really there were two things that were important to me. You know, I grew up on Power Rangers, so what I wanted yeah, in South Africa, um, and what was important to me from the beginning was making a movie about growing up. Uh, and I wanted to make this a grounded, character-driven origin story that was always set to the backdrop of this spectacular adventure. So, always at the center of the approach was making these characters real, with real problems that I think everyone will find relatable and identifiable as they go on this big, fun, spectacular odyssey. And the second thing that was important is I want to remain true to the spirit of the franchise that I grew up on and loved, that was loved the world over, and make sure that we worked really hard to reimagine it and reinvent it and bring it to a 2017 audience. 2017, it oh. sounds so far away. <laughs> but that, that's the thing, is that what you're talking about is like bringing this, it's a new thing, from a thing that we all know and love. So, Dinker, let's talk about like slipping into that costume. It seems like with great power comes great responsibility, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I mean... I, I know that's not a ranger thing, guys. It's, it's yeah, <laughs> slightly different. Uh, no, look, I think, I think anybody could say, you know, being a superhero does come with a lot of responsibility. And it does, I think, because a lot of people look up to superheroes. I certainly did when I was younger, Power Rangers, and a lot of other superheroes as well, so it's, there's a lot of honor in that, but also lots of responsibility going into a production, and certainly of this magnitude, with a great cast and crew and director and everybody. Um, we all put in 150% on this, and we really do hope that it resonates with you guys, I think. Yeah. Guys, be honest. Who pulled the first muscle? Becky. No, I thought it was Ludi. Wow. Was it you? No, Ludi. Uh, uh, well, I, I pulled injury. quite a few. I don't remember Drama. the first. It depends on the question. I mean, the I, just, can't hurt. I just went to Becky because she was just, I mean, she got injured I every, was something was going on with her every single day. That's why I went to you. <laughs> Alright, so you and the paramedics were best friends then? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Awesome. What did you have to do to train to get ready? I mean, obviously it didn't work. Because you were getting hurt. No, she trained too hard. No, right, babe? Yeah, yeah. True. True. I think. Too hard. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's weird because we did train a lot, but it was it was a lot on our. Thank you. It was a lot on our. I, sorry, I did not not acknowledge that. I'm glad. Um, no, it was a lot on our bodies. I mean, one the hours, and then physically we were doing a lot. A lot like our stunt doubles went out of their way to help us kind of develop our fighting styles and we really took on that responsibility to do a lot of our own stunts and um yeah i think i just got caught up a couple times in the hustle of like okay next shot next shot and i'd be like i gotta go pee and then i'd run to the bathroom and then i'd run back and then next thing you know i have a sprained ankle so well, we, it's not you. i mean there were a few accidents i think a one lot. of which when i um when I was training, we obviously learned choreography, and for the first time that I was ever on screen doing choreography, I literally punched someone in the mouth and made them bleed. <laughs> one of us done the, one of us done the performance, sorry, and I will. felt so And the real. nicest person too, a oh. hard oh, poor What's Will. That? The nicest person I too. I know, he's so person sweet. that least deserves it. But, no. <laughs> but I, I bled as well, so you know. No, that was his blood on your knuckle. That was his blood. <laughs> I think it's like Digger said before that we all try to give 150% through this and we actually that actually gave us a great facility and an amazing team of people to train with and each time we went into this warehouse full of wires, full of mats, full of um, weight equipment, it felt like superhero training. 
I felt like I was being in there to prepare to save the world, you know? <laughs> well, because you guys are going to see in a few minutes, like, the stunts in the movie are amazing, and, you know, Dean, you mentioned, it goes deeper than that, of course, but, RJ, this is really different from your last movie, which, if you haven't seen it, me and Earl and the Dying Girl, available on video. <laughs> So, what was your favorite move? Like, what's your jam? Um, uh, well, let's be honest. If we're talking RJ, I like to run away a lot, okay? Um, now, Billy, I like to run away with strategy, you know? It's, that's my thing, you know? I see confrontation, it's like, okay, I could either go this way or I could go down this alley that's lit, there's a police officer there, I can say, you know? Um, but I think my favorite, my favorite move to do now, right? So I love working with my hands, right? Like boxing and stuff like that. But my my stunt double, Aaron, taught me this thing called the axe kick, right? And I cannot do it, do it in these jeans because they are entirely too tight. Oh, can but you do an approximation? I can't do an approximate. I don't know. Use your fingers. Use my fingers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like it's like it goes straight up. And Look out! Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's with that sound though, and. Um, <laughs> And the reason why it's my favorite move is because I'm already tall, right? And this move makes me feel way taller, you know, because my legs are long. Um, so it makes it seem like I can fight, but I can't. That's the thing. <laughs> so um, I really love that about, you know, this character, Billy. We can't fight, but we can look like it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Movie magic, right? That's you know, the best part. <laughs> the magic that I'm also wanting to hear all about <coughs> are swords. Thank you. <laughs> Which ones will we see? What was it like working in that environment when we're going to see one? Like, they could tell us everything, literally everything, whatever they told you not to tell us. <laughs> Just let it all out of the bag. Yeah. Um, look, I, I don't know. I think you're right. It's in these Zords that sort of take, sort of uh, make an appearance in the film are incredible. And working with the technology that we did work with these sort of flight simulator machines was pretty pretty extraordinary, it, especially for me, you know, coming from a small town in Australia and then suddenly being on this huge film set and we're flying around in the final days in this pod, you know, like, you know, seeing Chris Pratt do it behind the scenes in Guardians of the Galaxy, huge shout out to that, I love that film. And, uh, and, you know, and then suddenly being in there, uh, being directed by this great guy and these guys around and watching them do it as well. <laughs> And then sort of seeing the previews and then those teaser sort of posters they release and then the Zords start to come to life. Um, but they're incredible, they're huge, you know, huge things and I think it definitely takes on that nature that those epic sort of Marvel DC world films have at the moment which are so incredible to go watch at the cinema because you're just getting lost in these, um, you know, these these worlds created by the special effects and the kind of technology that we have at the moment, which is so incredible that it, it's become so realistic. Yeah, what was important to me was to make sure that it felt that these guys are really in those swords controlling it. And so we built all of their cockpits and we put it on a huge platform and we had two 50 foot techno cranes and I put them in this thing, which basically is being in a roller coaster for 12 hours in their I suits in my and sword. at crazy <laughs> angles which was hard uh, and I shot so much footage that we broke uh, the record of Davies three days in a row which Woo! I'm very proud of uh, but it was, it, it was being in a, it was like being in a crazy roller coaster for them but what's really cool uh, we're doing all the visual effects now and what's really cool is that these guys are reacting in a real way, really physically, in their physical suits, in a physical cockpit, so that when you see the visual effects get put together, they're completely part of that world. We're not trying to cheat it at all. They are in the performance, in the moment, in the zone. And, and every now and again, we would have Dean shouting, yeah. <laughs> okay, now look to your left. Okay, now there's something flying by. I gotta so, give it to yeah. Dean. I didn't know that was so purposely purposefully planned, but everything that happened in Zord, like, we felt the physicality. I felt it anyways. Yeah. It was it was difficult, it was hard, and I think that's how um, controlling a big, unmanageable machine for the first time like that should feel. I, I was exhausted. I was tired. I was exhausted. And the last shot we had, that was the hardest to accomplish. So it was, yeah, because um, I had the finishing shot of the of the film and just being up there about 30 meters high watching the entire crew and being in my zord it was it was oh, a can i tell a sweet anecdote 
Uh, of course. Ludi had the last shot of the whole movie, and uh, Ludi is a very tough, brave, crazy, wild person. Um, in a good way. In, in a good way. Um, and the most emotional part of the movie was he gets down off of his Zord and starts crying because it was the end of the movie. And I had to walk away because I thought I was going to start crying too. Men don't cry. Um, but <laughs> Power Rangers do though. But Power Rangers do. <laughs> we love it. Who, who out there has a hanky? Ludi, come on. It was very emotional. Well, mostly for me, right? It wasn't emotional because I was, you know, feeling emotional. It was just because it hurt. Let's let's get something clear, okay? Uh, these doors don't have airbags, y'all. This is not no place, okay? Uh, so when we get hit, we actually hit the wall. So that's not pretty at all. I left with a lot of bruises, even though I'm chocolatey. They still <laughs> Yeah. I think something really cool when we were filming the Zords is everyone's Zord works differently, right? And so the simulator moved differently as well. It wasn't just the same motions uh, for everyone. Nay got it lucky because, you know, she's gliding away. So she's Flying. just turning, turning, and me, I'm saber to tiger, pouncing everywhere, hitting things. So I was, I had a hard time with the Zord. Yeah, Dean caught me uh, praying in Spanish <laughs> at a moment towards the end. I literally, great. I was praying for Rosario. I was like, I cannot do this. Lord, I put you. my context back on, and we're about to go for another shot, and I just hear Becky like whispering and whispering, and I turn to Aldrich, our first AD, and I said, what's going on? He's, She's praying, Dean. <laughs> I just wanted it to be over. That's when I, I knew I was, was working so them correctly. You're really reaching. <laughs> Uh, I suspect you might have been doing a little praying too, Becky, when you were dealing with Rita Repulsa. Yes. Oh yeah. my God, that was awesome. <laughs> Give it up. Yeah. 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 Um, can you really quickly? Can you talk about working with her? It was incredible. Incredible. I mean, I, that's really the word to describe it. I learned a lot from her. I think she takes full control and responsibility for every decision that she makes for her character. And she's very collaborative. Uh, when we locked the scene, it was literally just me, her, and Dean. And it was fun because we were we were collaborating. We were throwing ideas on which where we could take it and how intense we were going to get. And um, it felt chill because we were just in sweatpants, no makeup, you know, hair in a chongo and everything. And then, come time to shoot the actual scene, you know, four and a half hours later after she gets in costume and cosmetics, I, it wasn't acting, it was genuine fear of how real she looked and, and how committed she was to her character. I was, I was dealing with Rita Repulsa. So it was, it was amazing. Uh, guys. I'm just receiving word from no one in particular that we do have a message from Elizabeth Banks. Aww. With Elizabeth Banks hovering over them. Is everybody okay? I thought so. Uh -huh. And also RJ. Yeah. Yeah. No surprise there. Now, that's just our first look. So what else can you show us? Like, what are you excited to show us next? Well, I mean, that's the thing. This is really just a teaser. I mean, you aren't seeing... Yeah, I know, but I'm so amped up. You're not seeing the Zords, you're not seeing you're not the spaceship, the parties. I know! It's coming, it's all coming, it's coming! We have so much this time! This is what you need to look forward to! I know, we have so much time until the movie comes out in March of 2017, so we get Zords in the future, we You get, get Zords, you get Alpha 5, Zord on, the spaceship, parties, gold on. The red Power Ranger. The yellow Power Ranger. <laughs> and... But you're starting, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't blame that on me. They got imaginations. Don't give me too much. <laughs> not right now. That's, so, that's not how we was raised in Duval. I think the yelling from the audience is actually just showing how excited everybody is to talk to you. So we're going to turn to audience questions. So now the rule is that the person with the mic is the one that's talking, so the rest of all y'all Green Power Ranger people just shut it. And uh, look for the microphone in the audience. Uh, hey guys, come on to me. I'm not coming to you. This is not that kind of party. Same with me. <laughs> come on down. You can't miss Ruben in that amazing suit. All right, I got a question right over here. What's your name, buddy? Jonah. And what's your question? 
But I was wondering, was um, what's exactly your favorite character trait of the word character? What? 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 Your favorite character trait of your. your so, like, what other character would we want to? What's no, what's, we're asking, what's, what's your favorite character, character trait, trait, trait of your like character? Okay, so my character is Zach, and I think I think he's charged. I think he's always amped up. And he's charged and he's ready to go. Uh, I play Kimberly. Um, I think Kimberly is has a maturity about her, and I respect that. You know, because I'm not always so mature myself. <laughs> um, I play Billy, the Blue Ranger, and um, I feel like my my favorite characteristic of Billy is that he's wholehearted in every situation. You know, that's just. Yeah, but I am wholehearted in every situation. It's our job. Um, what I love most about Tony is that she's independent. Uh, from the beginning and the, her circumstances, she always was kind of like that loner, but she owned it. So she didn't really need to depend on anybody, and I, I like that she's independent. I think Jason's pretty empathetic. I think that's what sort of leads him to sort of seek to have a relationship with the other characters that are sort of in different social groups at the school and eventually we all come together, the Power Rangers. Yeah. Thank you. What about you? Your favourite trait about yourself? What would you... This is why I'm not an actor. <laughs> we have a couple. Oh, well, Dean, we Dean actually too. played Alpha 5 for a while. Yes, he did. Alpha 5 oh, for did. A while. Very good Alpha 5. He was brilliant. Really they should be I thought they were gonna cast Dean, but then it got weird, you know. It's kind of. But his New Balance collection, though, that's a trait that everybody should see. Everyone. Yeah, so nice. More uh, questions out there in the audience? Right over here, in front of you. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. First of all, thank you for being here for making this movie and bringing my childhood back. I appreciate it. Thank you. thank you for being here too. So my question is, what was it like when you first shot the scene, when you first became these iconic heroes? Like, what was your feeling when you guys first morphed into the Power Rangers? Yeah, I think, I mean, it was towards the end of the shoot, and, yeah. um, like, to touch on what I said before, you've got all this stuff hyped up in your mind of, um, there's so much responsibility, this is going to be on screen forever. So you're thinking at home, you know, and getting into the costume, everything leading up, you're like, there's so much pressure on this moment. And then when you sink into it, the set's so big and so real, it feels right. And with these guys, after, because as I say, we did it towards the end of the shoot, you know each other so well, you kind of feel like a combination of, it's, this is right, and a combination of just being like, epically powerful, because it's, everything is just like, so big and cool and real and yeah, yeah. I think I had that worry at the beginning of the shoot too, because they're stepping into some, to some big shoes, right? And there's a lot of responsibility. But through the, throughout the shoot, like the whole process in the movie, I think the movie taught me something. It's about the process of becoming a superhero. And anybody can become a superhero. You don't need to pretend or to, to pose as a superhero. By that time, as long as your heart's in the right place, you got the right team around you and the right people around you, and you guys are together working on something you feel that's worthwhile, Amen. then you're the hero. Yes! Confucius, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody can be a superhero. Write it down. Write it, make, make a note here. Are you no? taking notes? Make well, it's memo. true. I mean, the suits do come from within us, which I think says a lot. It's it, The suit comes from within. It's about a lot of self-discovery. It's a coming-of-age story. And it's cool because I, I, as a human being, outside learned a lot filming this movie. So when it came time to put on the suits, it felt... Like, I deserved that moment. Like, I really earned my suit. Nice. Now, we have a lot of people watching out. Yep, yep, keep the clapping going. Keep the clapping going. Oh. Together we are more. I, we need that message so badly right now. And yes. I keep coming back to it, man. I like this line of discussion. So, there are folks watching online, and I wanted to get to a couple of their questions. You guys had on set fierce social media game. And this one comes from uh, John Hobbs III. The Power Rangers are a solid team of close friends, which I'm sensing as you guys talk. How did you all build that team relationship and friendship on and off camera? Um, Ooh, Becky, you raised your hand. Yes. I know, I want to yes. be polite here. D, D <laughs> over here really took on that leader role from the very beginning. Uh, when I announced, when they announced my casting for Trini, right away, 
he reached out and was like, hey, we have a, a WhatsApp going on, everybody's in the chat, you know, we're all getting to know each other, and it was cool because we would be sending each other pictures of, he would be in China, and they would be in UK, and we'd be sending pictures of what we were doing, and it was just awesome to already have that kind of energy going, and then when we met, it was like we kind of all knew each other already. But I do, I do want to say, oh, like, the guys. difference between... Oh, <laughs> it's you. There they are, in all their glory. Abs. There it is. <laughs> yeah, me and Becky decided not to post our picture of us. Yeah, it's out. too much for the internet. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> Believe it or not, we still look like that, I promise. We have to get out of shape. Show okay? us! The magic's in Photoshop. <laughs> Wait, I'm still counting the actual amount of abs in the night. Yes, Ludi Lynn, ladies Lots of muscles. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do want to point out a difference between, like, uh, virtual reality and social media um, personality and meeting the actual cast and the actual people in person. I do encourage people to actually meet your friends in person. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> I know it's a crazy concept these days. Those VR classes do all the trick. But um, we had, we were exchanging photos and videos. I had, I had very different impressions of, of my castmates. Um, and Everybody thought I was going to be when mean. I met them. Nate uh, thought I was going to be mean. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you not. did. That's oh, my mean. life, darling. Oh. Maybe a little bit. No, I'm joking. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't know what to expect. I think we all had probably a bit of thing in our head that we thought, I, I you know. I think so. I think when you haven't met the person You're not me. Real, You're wonderful, my darling. They, I love you. People tend to be more, way more intimidating mm. than you think they are. But when you meet people in person, they're just people, no matter what. Like, yeah. we're Power Rangers, but we're people. We're children. Okay? <laughs> so, um, to jump back to your, to your question before about, um, you know, sort of the relationship on and off screen of us. Um, we do become friends in the film. And we, we almost shot pretty much chronologically. So the arc of our friendship off screen was almost happening on screen per day, right? Yeah. So it's almost like not, it's not, it doesn't become an acting thing when you're so close. Yeah, well, it doesn't. It's, it becomes a real thing, just like the sets are so real and it, it's scary how. Real it was. Well, it's you know what, what Becky was saying about us, too. Well, in, our, in the movie, our characters as the two, you know, as Trini and Kimberly, they're not quite sure how to take each other no. at first. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's a really fun thing to play. I think our relationship, I I really enjoy seeing that progression. Yeah. Um, and then we, it's like a little love story. Together, yeah. yeah. We had, a, we had like an impromptu table read that led to a lot of fun, you know, the first night we were there. It was like we all got at my house. Just you know. us. It yeah, was just, just like in the schedule. Yeah. And, like, and that one night, it was like a, a duration of like five hours. We laughed, wow. cried, Aww. got angry. You know, all of this, not at each other, but it was like we, we all shared these, you know, different life experiences and also bonding together over the script. And it was like, these are some of the, you know, best friends that I'm going to have for the rest five, of my life, right? Five people who come from every corner yeah. of the planet to one place who'd never met in one night becoming great friends. It's like, that doesn't happen. It's that, a perfect like, story. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it this. Because we get to see it all next March. And... Sadly, that's all the time that we've got. But before I ask you guys to go, you guys are close, it shows. Would you please just like strike a pose together for everyone? Just a pose. Only Dean, the only Dean to do it. Wait, are we talking like a bar together? Pose, you guys are. Wait, what about a phone pose? Can What's I do a phone pose? Or? This is his director pose. Oh. Oh. It's good, right? It's we good, need right? Alpha Fox. Oh, yeah. I'm doing all the stuff, guys. I know. But I know everybody's so psyched to see the movie and they're so psyched to just strike it. Do we got to right? hold the microphone? Right. I got to hold the Power Rangers. Do we have to hold the microphone? Can this be my weapon? Oh, my. Yeah. It's so I know. Like, I said like it. boring in every shot. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Does this be my golf ball? This guy. Go, go, Power Rangers. Yeah! Amazing. We have to say goodbye to them, but we are going to watch that trailer one more time. Oh, yeah.